Fudge out. They won't come back home. <laughs> you let a canary out, they go. <laughs> and so you let the pigeons out, and they come back home to you. Oh, I was nine years old. A little baby was on the ground, and I, we picked it up, and we thought it was a hawk. <laughs> Dad said, "No, it's a pigeon." It all started then, way, way back then, when I was a little tacker. Then. All of a sudden, I bought some real good pigeons. They had a paper round then to buy these pigeons for five pound each. <laughs> five pound each, they were. Dad took one look and shook his head. <laughs> I was going to build a trailer first, but uh, I thought we'll build a truck. A few of the people in the racing pigeons are truck drivers. And I asked them, I said, well, I've got to have something with a bit of power in it. Yeah, they've got to have something which rides comfortable. And uh, of course, they just said, oh, get, it, get on Isuzu. They said they never break down. They said they just keep going. We've got the sliding crates. I've yeah, got the three fans, these cycles that were air all the time. They're very comfortable in it. <laughs> when we get up the race points and we lift the curtains up on the sides, you can see the pigeons are that, they're that comfortable in them. And that's, that's a very big keeping of ease, like an athlete. The calmer they are, that's when they win. People haven't, haven't seen a thing like a truck like this, <laughs> but having the air suspension on it, it really makes it easy. The driver likes it, pigeons like it, and nothing is getting bumped around, it's just smooth all the way. I've flown pigeons all my life and I've built something for the pigeons. It's not for me, it's for the pigeons. So. To help the pigeons get home, that's all it's all about.